In this video, I'm going to show you how to create subtitles in iMovie, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. If you want to learn how to spend less time making more videos, start by clicking that subscribe button now. Subtitles and captions are more widely used in online video more than ever before, and they definitely have the purpose when used in the right way. Now, iMovie does a good job of providing us a couple options for creating subtitles, but it also limits us on how far we can take it. But don't worry, I got just the hack for you to enhance the appearance of your subtitles. Go ahead and follow the link in the show notes below to download my free pack of subtitle graphics and then follow along during the video. Now, before we dive in, it's important to know the difference between subtitles and captions. Basically, subtitles are used when the audience can hear the audio, but wants the dialogue provided on screen as well. Closed captioning is used when the audience cannot hear the audio and needs a text description that they would otherwise be hearing. No matter which way you slice it, captions or subtitles, they both consist of on-screen text synced up with the audio. We'll begin inside iMovie with a piece of footage containing audio in our timeline. When making subtitles, you'll essentially be adding a simple text effect to the screen. So jump into your title effects up here. There are a few title effects that could work, like the soft bar or the lower title, but my favorite is the lower third title effect. Grab this and drop it down on top of your video layer. You'll be prompted to start editing the text on the title effect. I like to delete the large text on top here and use the small text line for making subtitles. So with your text layer selected, you are given the option to change the font, the formatting and color of the text in this area up here. Take notice here, by default, iMovie places a short dissolve fade effect on the title layer, seen here. It fades in and fades out, and it kind of looks silly. But unfortunately, there is no way to disable that effect inside iMovie. So as we build out these subtitles, know that we can't edit that piece of it. Now go ahead and type in some sample text here, or whatever it is you say first, so we can play with the text settings to achieve your desired look. As I mentioned before, you can tweak the text settings to pick the right font, the formatting, and color of your text. I personally prefer Tahoma or Helvetica font on white on-screen text. So let's navigate to the beginning of our clip in the timeline and start with the first sentence. This happens to be the intro of the video you're watching right now. So as you can hear, my line is, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create subtitles in iMovie, and we'll do that right now. You'll essentially be typing out, word for word, what the person is saying in the video. But we have to do it in chunks, so our subtitles are timed out to fit the entire soundbite. Let's start with the first line in the video. In this video, I'm going to show you. We'll type that in like so. Now, we can trim the title clip to end after I say, show you. Next, with the title layer selected, right click on the layer and click copy. Then move the playhead past the title and paste. This will paste the same title with the same formatting so you don't have to go back and redo it all. Simply click into that title to edit the text to say my next line, which is how to create subtitles in iMovie. Type that in and move to the next line. Copy and paste the title and repeat this process until you're done. Now, when we play it back, you can see the text on screen syncing up with the audio in the clip. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create subtitles in iMovie, and we'll do that right now. This is fantastic, but wait a minute. You can see here the white text blends in with my white shirt on the screen. And this certainly won't be the case for everything, but since we're inside this tutorial, let's go ahead and show you how you can create separation between our subtitle effect and the footage. Now you can first play with the color of the text to see if that can make it pop a little extra more. From there, you can turn on or off the text outline effect up here to see if that helps any. But if you want complete separation, you'll need a rectangle graphic like this one but you can't create this in iMovie. 
So if you haven't already downloaded the freeze pack of subtitle graphics, please do so with the link in the show notes below. Download those graphics and import them back into iMovie. Once imported, drag them down to the timeline and place it under your title layer. By default, iMovie puts a slow zoom and dissolve when graphic files are imported, but we don't want that. So click up here on your cropping tool and select fit to keep the graphic layer static. Next, click up here in the video overlay settings. We'll be changing two things up here. The first is change cutaway to picture in picture. And then next to that is dissolve. Highlight this area here and type in zero. So by adding the picture in picture feature, you can now resize the graphic layer to fit behind your text appropriately. So click on the corners of the graphic to do a custom resize and increase the height and width to match the width and height of your subtitle text. Once you have it set to your liking, go ahead and play it back to see it all working together. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create subtitles in iMovie, and we'll do that right now. There. Now those subtitles are easy to read and there is no competition whatsoever between the title layer background and the footage. So let me know in the comments below if those downloadable graphics were helpful for you as much as they are for me. If you haven't already downloaded my Before You Shoot guide, please follow the link in the show notes below. The guide will prove as a useful resource for each and every one of your video creations. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like. And if you want to watch more videos just like this one, then hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the release of our new videos. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.